Good morning, Gemini. This is Renee, and welcome to your reading. This will be a general reading, a bonus reading, actually. Um, but we'll take a look at your energies and see what is going on with Gemini. And by the way, Gemini, moon, the I keep saying the moon. I don't know why I keep saying the moon. Um, Mars is going direct on the 12th so that will probably be when right when I'm uploading these videos but with Mars going direct you're gonna feel a lot more relief a lot of things are going to go your way where you in the past you may have had a lot of obstacles a lot of things go wrong because of the retrograde I feel like this is a relief this is a, a breath of fresh air this is a time to pursue your ambitions to you know you feel may feel more energized during this time but the moon is the I see I can say in the moon again Mars is going to stay direct until 2024 so this should be a beautiful transition okay so Gemini we have rebirth and rejuvenation. What did I just say? You're going to feel more energized. And this is a time to follow your dreams, Gemini. Follow your plans. Whatever you have planned. Plan big. Dream big. Follow your dreams. What else do we have for Gemini? We have journal it out. Write how you feel. So yeah, this may be a time to start a journal. Start a dream journal. Start a gratitude journal. You know. Um, and we have let go of control and relax into flow. So the spirit is letting you know. Go with the flow. You know, relax. Enjoy the journey, Gemini. What else do we have for Gemini? What else do we have for Gemini? Perseverance. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. And we have perception. So, yeah, I feel like a lot of things are going through your mind, Gemini. I feel like, I feel your thoughts racing. I feel like you have a lot of plans. You have a lot of priorities uh, you may have a lot of ambitions but I feel like a lot of things are happening and with this Mars going direct I feel like your plans are going to you know you're going to be able to follow through a little bit more clearly I know when Mars was in in retrograde oh my goodness how many things could go wrong could go wrong you know that sort of thing um, one thing would break, I'd fix it. Another thing would break, I'd fix it. Another thing would break, I'd fix it. I was just like, oh my God, what else is happening next? And I feel like, you know, now it's time to take a breath. Take a breather. Mars is in direct, so a lot more good things are going to be happening. What do we have for Gemini? The Page of Cups. Okay. We also have the Five of Pentacles. The Hangman. The Five of Cups. The Hierophants. Okay. So your current energy. We have the Five of Swords. So yeah, Gemini, I feel like you're overcoming whatever challenges, whatever obstacles that you were just going through. I feel like you are kind of, you may even feel kind of shell-shocked when it comes to this time period. But it, it's all working out. Just know that it's all working out. Everything is going as planned, whether you realize it or not. It may not be your plan, 
but everything is going as planned. We have the the page of cups. So I feel like a lot of new information is coming towards you. This may be a new job. Um, some kind of new love that's coming into you. This may also be you kind of volunteering your time. But I feel like you're going to get some kind of news that's going to keep you up, uplifted. Now this Five of Pentacles, it actually wanted to come out in reverse. So I feel like with this Five of Pentacles, I feel like you're coming out of that feeling of lack. You're no longer feeling like you need to rob Paul to pay Peter. That sort of thing. You know what I mean? I, I feel like you're you're coming out of that feeling of lack. You now have the things that you need. And if you don't right now, I feel like, you know, to stop worrying because it's coming. You're going to have the help that you need. You're going to have, you know... <clears throat> the financial stability if you haven't been feeling well you're going to have better health you're going to be working on these things and i feel like you're doing so because of this hangman you're doing so because you're surrendering you you're surrendering to whatever the universe has prepared for you you're kind of letting go these things that you see don't work for you you're and i feel like you may even be still holding on to some things you may not want to let go of everything, but I feel like you're letting go of a lot of the things that were holding you back. You're slowly making changes. And even though you're holding on to a few of those habits, a few of those beliefs, I feel like the beliefs that you let go of or the habits that you've let go of or the things in your life that you've let go of is, is making such a big difference because you know, the universe sees that you're working on yourself and they're kind of propelling you into this new discovery phase. You know, they see that you're not giving up. They see that you're not giving up, that you're still hanging in there. You're still in the fight. And I see that with the Hierophant because I feel like you're, you're working on yourself. You may be becoming more spiritual. I feel like you are you may be meditating more you may be following certain things that are kind of taking you to the next level you know uh, like you may be doing positive affirmations, you may be meditating, you may be doing some kind of spiritual work, you may be casting spells for um, prosperity, love, you know, success. But I feel like whatever shadow work that you're doing is, is working in your favor. It's slowly coming. It may be slowly coming, but it's coming. We have the Five of Swords again. So yeah, I feel like this may not be the last of your challenges, but I feel like your challenges are becoming easier. Especially with this Mars coming direct. I feel like the challenges aren't as strong as what they were before. We have the Empress and the Justice, definitely. So I feel like you... This is a great time for manifestation, Gemini. This is a great time for manifestation. You may also be very vibrant. You may also be fertile and trying to start a family. But I feel like, you know, the Empress, she's very fertile for manifestation. She can manifest anything her heart desires. And I feel like you're taking on those attributes. You're taking on the characters of the Empress. She's all about creation. And I feel like with this Justice card right next to it, you have the Hangman, the Empress, the Justice card. 
I feel like, you know, things are finally falling into place for you. Things are finally becoming balanced. But if you're manifesting something, I feel like that's going to come into fruition maybe sooner than you think. Because the, the Justice card, that's all about cause and effect. You know, what work you put into something is what you're going to get out of it. So I feel like you put in this work. You're open to this manifestation. And this is going to come to you much quicker than you expected. Okay, Spirit, uh, give me another message. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. Definitely, definitely new fiery beginning, new passion, new um, things that you're thinking about. You may be creating new things. You may be in, you may have a new inspiration, something fiery, something that's really pushing you. It's driving you to get something done because you have the Knight of Swords as well. So, with the, the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Swords, I feel like, you know, you may come up with the words very easily. Your communication is kind of flowing. You know what I'm saying? You, you may be easily communicating whatever your needs are, whatever plans you're making, whatever goals you have set, I feel like your communication is kind of there. It's it's at its height. You're able to communicate very freely. And I feel like whatever whatever changes that you're going through, I feel like this is this is something that's life changing. And it's something that's taking you into this new beginning of this this Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is beginning something new, beginning a new project, be the beginning of creating something, some kind of beginning of inspiration. So I feel like that's where it's taking you. And you also have the fool on the bottom. So this is definitely a new journey that you're traveling on, Gemini. Really interesting. Really interesting. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's clarify these a bit. Let's get some clarification for Gemini. <clears throat> clarify these cards for Gemini, please. Okay, Spirit. What is this page of cups? What is this page of cups? The Four of Wands. Yeah, so if this is a love interest, this is something, this may be someone new coming into your life. Someone who wants to stay in your life for a while. Someone who's going to bring you a lot of happiness. You may meet this person during some sort of celebration, some kind of get together. Um, but I feel like if this is someone who's already in your life, you're celebrating with this person. Um, you're kind of celebrating achievements, uh, celebrating goals being achieved. What is this Five of Pentacles? What is this Five of Pentacles spirit? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're working on this. You're working on this. You're, you've mastered this situation. That, that's the reason why you no longer feel like you're in lack. You feel like you have enough. You feel like you are gaining more because you could be spending more time working. You could be doing a project. Um, but I feel like this is bringing you more, more satisfaction. You may even be teaching this to others. What is this hangman spirit? Tell me about this hangman. The hermit. Yeah, I feel like you've spent a lot of time within yourself, Gemini. You've gained your wisdom. You've done your soul searching. 
and now you're ready to surrender. You're ready to express the wisdom that you received while you were in that hermit mode. You know, I feel like you, you're at a pace where you're growing. You're seeing what works and what doesn't. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. Oh, the Five of Cups with the Eight of Cups. I'm sorry. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So definitely, definitely you're letting go of things. You're letting go of things that aren't working for you. And you're moving into this new direction. You're moving into this new realization. Even though you may be still holding on to certain things. See, because he's still carrying two of these cups. She's still carrying this cup that means so much to her. You know? And I feel like it, it, it may take time for you to release all of the things that may have been holding you back. But I feel like once you release all of them things that were holding you back, Gemini, you're going to be unstoppable. Unstoppable. What is this Hierophant? The Three of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, you may be teaching somebody something. You may be... This may be you giving someone in your circle advice or someone in your circle giving you advice. But this is either you teaching someone something or them teaching you with this Hierophant. This could also be you letting go of the expectations of society. You know, I, I feel like people around you may have high expectations, but I feel like you may be letting those go. You, you no longer want to conform to those expectations that some people have set upon you. Maybe that's the, the cup that you're still holding on to. Letting go of those expectations. Thinking about Gemini's expectations. What does Gemini want? You know? Where does Gemini want to go? What is this Five of Swords? The Magician. You know, whatever challenges that you're going to be going through, Gemini, you have all the power. You have all the resources you need to get through these challenges. I feel like whatever challenges you go through are going to be so minute that you're not even going to think about them as challenges. You're just going to think about them as, you know, some kind of day-to-day -day process because, I mean, you've got all the answers. You've got everything you need to overcome these obstacles, uh, to overcome any conflict that comes your way. And I feel like... Any drama that may be created, I feel like you, you're like, you know, whatever. But Gemini, this could also be you moving through these challenges and bringing your thoughts down to earth. You know, you're overcoming those, those challenges with ease. Tell me about this Empress. What is this Empress energy? The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so you definitely have support. With this Empress energy, you have support. You're moving forward. You're, you're growing in the situation. This could be you kind of working with someone else to manifest something beautiful in your life. This could be this uh, Page of Cups situation. You could be manifesting something with this Page of Cups. This may be you and this Page of Cups um, creating a family, creating something that's going to be long-lasting in your life. 
What is this justice card, spirit? The Ten of Wands. Yeah, with the Justice card and the Ten of Wands, your The Justice card is cause and effect, you know. This is your karma, your dharma, you know, coming around, putting work in. Um, with the Ten of Wands, I feel like you're laying down your burdens for this situation. You have the two of wands. So I feel like with this with this justice card, you're you're laying down your burdens and you're looking towards the future. You're not dwelling on them. You know that your karma is coming through for whatever work that you went through. You're not dwelling on what could have been you're dwelling on what can be does that make sense gemini i feel like you know with with this justice card and this ten of wands i feel like you know it may not have went exactly as you expected it to you may have not got the um the outcome that you were expecting but i feel like you're not looking towards what could have been. You're looking what can be. So you're still hopeful for what is coming. You're still looking towards the future. You still feel like whatever this is, um, you're still waiting. You're still waiting for the results. You're still waiting for the results of some of the hard work that you put in. So you're waiting for that karma to come through. You know? And I feel like it will because you have this Ace of Wands right next to it. So I feel like that karma is coming. Um, even if you don't feel it, it's coming. What is this Ace of Wands? We have the Death card. So yeah, with the Ace of Wands, we have total transformation. This is a huge change. This is a huge transformation. Something that you don't really see that's coming. Because the, this side here is the near future. This side is is coming into fruition. So I feel like, you know, with these, with this work that you've done, you're waiting for the changes. These are going to be huge changes that are going to come. Huge changes. What is this Knight of Swords? The Page of Swords. Yeah, you're going to get some kind of communication on this. With the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords, you're going to get some kind of new communication that's going to be coming in. But it feels like it's coming in with the swiftness, you know, this is going to bring in a lot of change, this communication that you receive. This communication is going to bring a lot of change. We have the eight of wands at the bottom. So yeah, more communication, more change, more swiftness. This is something that's going to be fast moving. This is you taking the inspired action, you know, moving through these changes. This may be quick change. You may receive news very quickly. You may re receive news 
as soon as you get off of this reading, actually, um, news may be coming in for you. Very interesting. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to take some more cards. Let's see. Spirit, what is this news that's going to be coming in for Gemini? What does this news has to have to do with? What is this news? Okay, we have grief and blame. So I feel like, you know, whatever you were grieving about i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it so i feel like whatever you're grooving grooving about whatever you lost gemini um i feel like you need to take responsibility of for that um i accept responsibility for my well-being so instead of placing blame on others i feel like you should take responsibility for whatever it is that's going on um maybe whatever it is that happened that is pushing you through this kind of feeling and once you do that you have happiness I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path so yeah I feel like these are the things that you're holding on to these may be the things in your cup that you're not releasing Gemini and that makes more sense uh, you're you need to release your grief and the blame so that you can go into this happiness go into this gift of knowing you know let's see let's get some more cards for Gemini let's get some more cards for Gemini love and acceptance love is yours recognize your divine worth choose loving thoughts yes Definitely. And we have intervision and purpose. Divine intervention, intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Definitely, Gemini. Hang on, I'm going to take a few more and then we're going to ask a question. Okay. Tell me about this reading spirit. Tell me more about this reading Trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. You know, so you have time to make things happen. Time is moving at your at your um, at your pace. Gemini. Okay. Now let's ask a question. Gemini. If you'd like to, you can pause the video to ask your question. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and ask a question now. Um, Spirit, give me the answers to Gemini's question, please. What does Gemini need to know? No. The answer is no. Ask for help from others. Don't be afraid to ask for help, Gemini. And it's more likely to happen in the near future. So, yeah, that's what I see with this card. You know, you have some choices to make about, you know, releasing certain things from your life. And I believe that's, you know, this grief that you need to release. But there are a few more things that you need to release from your life before these good things can happen. And it's pushing you into this huge change in the near future. Um, so I feel like you should hold fast. Gemini, don't give up on your pursuit of whatever it is you need to pursue because this is huge. If this deals with love, let's see. What does Gemini need to know, Spirit? Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation. Meeting spirit um gemini so gemini 
this is your reading so if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clarity on your situation and gemini many blessings to you until the next reading love and light